Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create parametric wall in SketchUp. So let's get started. So for the first step, you're going to need a black and white image. If you don't have it, you can download this from any website. Okay. And now you need to come to the Photoshop and go to Find Menu and choose Open. And now let's open a black and white image. Now let's duplicate this image. And now let's go to the folder and choose blur and choose Gaussian blur. And here you can choose any more blur you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. And now come to the SketchUp. Now let's open the sandbox toolbar. And now let's choose the tool which is from scratch. And let's set the grid space into 3 inch. And now let's click anywhere you want and let's draw a line along extraction about 17 feet and also 17 feet along the wind direction. Well, it is better if the side of this uh, denga is matched with the aspect ratio of your image that will give you the better result. Okay. Now let's open one more two bar which is K by 2. Now select this group and right click and choose explode. And select this all and let's choose uh, this last tool which is move vertex by image. And set the max motion red and green to zero and set the blue to any value. And choose red and green for the last option. And now let's click on OK. And choose the image that you edit in the Photoshop and click open. Okay, that's good. And now select this all and let's move all the surface. Now let's use the line command and create a short line at this corner. You can use any line you want. I'm going to use about 2 inch. Now let's create a rectangle on each side of these four edges. Okay, we got it. Now let's uh, select all these again and create a group from this. Now let's use the rotate command and rotate this object to 90 degree. And you need to check this object which is a solid or not. If it is not a solid, you can not use the slice command. So it is not a solid, you can use solid inspector tool to fix this. And now select this group and use the slice command. And let's choose X for the AZ and down here you can choose any setting you want, it is up to you. And click OK. Okay, we got it. Now let's apply some wood material on it. So guys, in this way, you can create any design or parametric wall with any black and white image. The procedure is exactly the same as the one that you have seen in this video. So, see you in the next tutorial.